When you add the first pin, the Puppet tool builds a mesh around the image you've added it to. If you make changes to the image afterwards, you can potentially break the whole thing. If I give this guy a hat, for example, we can see that the area around his head is not attached. This is because the mesh for the puppet was originally calculated before the hat was added. Sometimes we can increase the mesh boundary to fix the problem. In this case, it fixes his head, but it can break the rest of his body because you can run into overlapping problems. For example, this wouldn't be a good idea here because now his legs are attached to each other in the center. So if you have an animation that you've done, but then make a change that exceeds the mesh, it would be really nice to be able to generate a new mesh, but keep all the work we've done. So let me show you how to do that. First I'll duplicate the layer and delete the puppet effect from it. Now when I add a new pin, it builds an entirely new mesh. If we go back to the original puppet layer and twirl down the effects in the timeline, we have puppet, mesh 1, and then deform. You can also press U and it will jump to here if you have keyframes for the pins. Click on Deform and copy it. Control C, Command C on a Mac. Now we'll go back to the new puppet layer and also twirl down to the Deform tab. Click on it this time and paste. And that's it! All of your pins and animations have now been transferred to this mesh. Now part of the reason I duplicated the old puppet layer is because I wanted to show you that since this recalculates the mesh from different geometry, it's not going to be 100% accurate to your original mesh, but it will be very close. Depending on how complex your animation is, you may have to make one or two little adjustments here or there, but I've never run into anything worse than that. So this was a question that I have seen all over the place with no answer, and you were basically told to start from scratch. So I'm really glad that I finally figured out a solution to this, and I hope you saved yourself a bunch of trouble if you found this video helpful.